What we'll do basically is we'll go through the vocabulary that we need and start Okay, so first of all, the red line is called the transversal. All right. I bisect, or if I intersect any line, the two angles that add together give me 180 degrees. That means that A and B are supplementary angles. Okay? So supplementary angles are any two angles that add to give you 180 degrees. Alright, now let's match a few up here. Corresponding angles. Are what I refer to as two angles that are in the exact same position. So if you were to look at this right here as a quadrant of four, A, B, C, and D. And this is a second quadrant of four. Corresponding angles are the ones that are in the exact same spot on the two quadrants. So, for example, angle A and angle E are corresponding angles. That means they're equal to each other. Angle B and angle Y. F. F. Corresponding angles. They're in the exact same position. Top left, top left. Top right, top right. Bottom left, bottom left. Bottom left. Right, bottom right. Okay, so we got corresponding angles. We have exterior alternate angles. Also equal to each other. So alternate means on opposite sides of the transversal. And exterior means not between them. So give me an example of two that would be exterior alternate angles. A and H. A and H. And what's the other one? G. That's right. E and G. Okay. Those are exterior alternate angles. So using the same... Thought process. I have interior alternate angles now. So what's the difference? They're inside the parallel lines. So give me the two pairs inside. Go ahead. C and F and D and E. D and E. Those are interior alternate angles, also equal to each other. Now the reason that they're all equal to each other is all based on con correspond or, uh, consecutive angles or angles beside each other that add up to 180. So that's how they all end up being equal to each other. Okay? I don't need you to explain it. I just need you to be able to recognize when, those are, when that's happening. All right? Uh, so I've got... Exterior alternate corresponding, so then the, the last one on this is vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite. You might want to give me a set of vertically opposite angles. 
Ja. Mhm. Angle F is equal to angle G. One other set, somebody else? B and C. Say it again? B and C. B and C, that's right. That's right. Okay. Any questions about that so far? It's not, like this is it. There's not much to this section. This section is supposed to lead you into, lead you into uh, work with triangles. Okay, so 2.3, you want to just open up tape for right now. 2.3 are angle properties inside triangles. Okay, so in 2.3, the first thing that we need to know is if I label those A, B, and C, what do I know about A, B, and C? That's equal 180. Pardon me? That's equal 180. Yeah. Then if I had them together, they equal 180. And then if I were to extend D out here, all right. What do I know about C and D? They have, they have to equal 180. So if C plus D equals 180 degrees, right? Then we know that A plus B then would have to equal D, right? Not necessary to write that down, but that's what happens because. If this plus these two equal 180 and this plus this equals 180, then that means that those two would have to equal this guy right here. Right? So all they do in this section is they just set up different triangles and extend some lines and use your, use your um, knowledge to solve all of the angles that they ask you for that are required. Okay? So far okay? What does that mean? Both sides are equal. What else does it mean? It's isosceles. That's right. So that's two. There's a third thing. What else does it mean? Yes. That's right. The two angles across from the two sides have to also then be equal. So if you see that, then that you know that that's the case. That's an isosceles triangle. Right? If I did that, what's the measure of A, B, and C? What does it cost you? 60. 60. That's right. It'd all be 60 then. Because if all three sides are the same, all three angles have to be the same, all three angles have to add to give you 180, 180 divided by 3 is 60 degrees. Fair enough? Then D would be 60 or What would D be? Oh, it does two angles together. Okay. That's it. That's all there is to this section. All right. There's one more part that I'll do on Monday with you. But for today, if you get through that, you're good to go. Two one all the way to, to the end of two three. Okay.